I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. So I was given a beta key for DC Dual Force. And in full transparency, they did give me uh, 25 packs to start. Plus the Green Arrows a mini set and the Shazam mini set. However, they did not give me any physical money, and this is not sponsored, so I can say whatever I want. So I'm going to give the most honest review I can at this point. Noting that this is still in beta at this particular moment, and a lot of this is subject to change. So let's start off with the first question that probably much everybody's going to ask. Is this a Marvel Snap Killer? No, it's not. Is this a Hearthstone Killer? No, it is not. This is a game that I think is very unique and falls somewhere in a completely different type of person than who would play Hearthstone or Mar Marvel Snap. So, the game is pretty, uh, pretty simple yet pretty complicated at the same time. For the most part, you have five factions. You've got the red, which is light. You've got the green, which is energy, the blue, which is tactics, the yellow, which is anarchy, and the purple, which is tyranny. If you've ever played Magic the Gathering, these are kind of like your five colors. Fire, grass, water, plains, and swamp. And each of your leaders has a uh, power attached to them, with a charge power. Almost like a planeswalker where they get to do one thing. Or in Hearthstone where you get to use your hero power, but your hero has a power, has a charge. Now if you use their hero power, they can't, or their special power, I should say. They can't use their special power again. So you can have more than three on Superman for this instance. You can even have six on this. But you can't use it twice. Now you can use three this turn and three next turn. But you can't use all six on one turn. Each hero has a different ability. As you start the game, you won't have many heroes. But as you open packs, in your pack openings, you sometimes get a box in your pack opening. And that box will be a hero box. Or a character box. I should say. And that character box will have one of the leaders that you're missing. And with just the 25 uh, packs that I got for starting, Plus the 10 packs for doing the uh, tutorial. I ended up with two thirds of every single card in the game. So I ended up with 66% of cards. Now I'm not sure if when this game goes live, if everybody else will get 25 packs to start with. I kind of hope that they do, and I kind of think that they won't. Yeah, those 25 packs really gave me a boost in decks that I could make, decks that I could create. Because all the uh, leaders are stuck behind walls. So you won't have many of the leaders that you start with. And even with having 20, even with having all that open at the same time, I'm still missing some, uh, 
leaders that I could have. Like, I'm missing Aquaman. And I'm missing Natana. And I'm missing... What am I missing? Let me double check. Oh, Aquaman for Might. Katana for Energy. And everything for Tactics. Our Anarchy have everything. And Tyranny have everything. But that still requires 25 packs, so I'm still missing a couple. So, it, I kind of wish they would almost take away the leader packs and just put regular packs in their place and just give you the leaders to start with. That way, you can play whatever you want to. Another interesting thing about this game is it requires two different leaders to make your deck. So if you're making a new deck, you'll see there's two leader positions, the left leader and the right leader. If you put your left leader as left leader, half of your deck must be dedicated to the tyranny. If you make your right leader back girl, Then half your deck has to be to tap it. Exactly half and exactly half. I'm not sure if they're going to change it in the future, if there'll be some modes in the future where that'll change, but this basically limits it so that you can't just have back girl and let's move her and have your entire deck be tactic. There are a couple interesting keywords in here that I would like to go over. I'm not going to go over every single keyword. I'm just going to go over some of the more interesting ones that might not show up in an everyday occurrence. Let's go over a few of them. They're pretty much all in They're all in, um, hours. If you have followers and you have actions, actions are basically your spell cards or your gadgets, depending on who you're with. And uh, characters are your your minions in the game. They're just a few that I want to go over. Most of these you would know by playing any game. The toy is a battle cry, but there's an interesting one here called Seek. Seek is an ability where you'll get three cards. And at the beginning of the next turn, you'll seek a second card. So when you deploy this, you'll seek a magical spell. So the next time that you do Dr. Fate, you would only get two magical spells, not three. And, for, and if you ever get a third one out for whatever reason, you only get one. If you ever get a fourth one out, you get nothing. The other thing that's interesting is... With some cards... You're allowed to have two of them. But some cards are only allowed to have one of them. So if we're going to build a deck real quick. Let's build a deck real quick in here. We're just going to do back row and Batman for a second. You'll see that a lot of these have two little dots. But some of them only have one dot, which means that you're only allowed to have one in your deck. 
and that little gem in the center says how, how uh, it's ready. So this would be like a common. So just because you're a bronze does not mean that you can't be a common. This is most like this is a, like a rare. Just because you're rare doesn't mean that you can't have two of them. So it's kind of interesting what makes something required down to one. And this is basically like a legendary. So you got your epics. So you got your commons, which is the white. Your blues, which are your rares. Your purples, which are your epics. And your golden, which are your legendaries, basically. But just because you're legendary does not mean that you're required to be only one. There are some legendaries that fall into that category. There are some non-legendaries that fit into the one category. Like here's a rare that's... Uh, that one only and here's an epic and they can be in gold they can be in silver they can be in bronze so it's kind of weird that you kind of don't know why their armor reason is probably they're just so strong that they don't want to have to in the game but it's kind of weird that they're so strong but they're not legendary it's kind of a good thing and kind of a bad thing The other one that I want to talk about for a uh, weird little power spirit is Evade. Evade is uh, the next time this character is attacked, that attack is avoided. So this basically kind of only works with physical damage. So if you hit it with a spell or an ability, it'll still take damage. You have the other one, which is shield. Shield, which the next time this character would take damage prevented. So that prevents it from both physical and magical abilities. And then you have Aura, which is the next time this character would be affected by spells or abilities. It negates it. So, shield is kind of does both, a bay does physical, or does magical. That's pretty much everything that you need to know about this. For weird little abilities, everything else kind of makes sense when you play it, and they're common words that you're used to seeing. I might make a list of all the keywords here in a little bit. As for leveling up, you'll get these tokens, which you can use to buy packs. These DC tokens here. It takes 2,000 tokens to earn a pack. When you win a game, you get 100 tokens. At this particular point, I don't know if there's a cap to that. There probably is. I just haven't found it yet. But that way, you can actually grind up your deck if you need to. At this particular point, there is no bonus for buying more cards in a single transaction. They're just 150 a piece. 
or 200 BC tokens, or 2,000 BC tokens. And it might change us some money again, but I don't know because again, we're just having 25 packs to open plus 10 pearls. So 35 packs, you end up with a hunk of the deck. But again, I really hope that they give newer players a good hunk of cards to start with, a good hunk of packs to start with. Because when I originally was playing this early in the day, I didn't have those 25 packs to open. I just had the original 10, and whoosh, did that hurt a lot. Hey, Sleepy Soup. We also have a comics mode. The comics mode right now only has one comic. It gives you some rewards here. As you can see, the rewards that you get. I'm doing good, Sleepy Soup. You can skip to it as many times as you want to. But you don't get the rewards except for the first time, of course. They're kind of fun, they're kind of interesting. They're not all just battles, there's some puzzles and stuff in there. So, there's a lot you can do in here, but um, it needs some stuff more. There's some other modes that are coming in the future, like a training mode and a vigilant mode. And maybe something more coming for tutorials in the future, but we'll see. But all in all, if, the, if you can get the packs to start off with, it's not that bad to go into. But if you don't start with those packs, it's going to be a long grind up there. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, remember, play.